there was a viral TikTok feta pasta going around and I did try it I think in one of the videos perhaps in vlogmas last year I can't remember but I saw a video from a creator where she took spaghetti squash and had that with the feta tomato concoction so I really want to try that tonight I have my spaghetti squash here I'm taking out the seeds and I'm gonna put salt and pepper on them place them cut side down and slip them into the oven for them to roast salt oh my god I'm falling apart let me tell you cutting a uh, squash in half not easy I have to remember this because I was literally looking at pumpkins 20 minutes ago thinking how fun it'd be to carve them but you know what it's hard to carve a squash and a pumpkin is a squash this was dangerous am I following this recipe exactly no if you're not experimenting in the kitchen what are you doing so I've got olive oil cherry tomatoes red onion not shallots garlic garlic powder salt pepper chili flakes and dried basil going on in here right now I'm gonna add that feta now and I remember last time feeling like I put too much feta so I'm only gonna use half of the tub which is probably still a lot this is one chunk we'll just mix that in too and here we are in the oven it will go it doesn't look like anything special right now but this will really creamify I wish you could smell the goodness that's happening in this apartment right now mm. I need to get new oven mitts mine are looking a little rougher -roo. My squash is done, it has to sit for 10 minutes now. In this oven is still the feta mixture, but I did the squash in that 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 appliance right there, which is, drum roll, my new air fryer. Yeah, so this is the purchase that I was hinting at in the last vlog, where I was saying that I got a steal of a deal. I finally caved with the air fryer, and the reason I justified this purchase was because if you take a look, it's also a toaster. It can bake, roast, warm, do pizza, proofs dough, it air fries, it does cookies, slow cooks, dehydrates. It's an all-in-one kind of device. You can see, there it is, so fresh. So now I get to do the air frying thing, which I really like for the fact that I get to cook with le a lot less oil, which is, comedic to mention when I'm using so much oil in that feta pasta thing. But then I also can toast my bread in there. So I was able to get rid of my toaster, which I, th I think I mentioned that my toaster got busted. So that's one less appliance to have around. I have a second oven. I've actually, since using this, I haven't turned on this oven once except for today because I had two things going. Almost everything that I need oven wise, I've been able to do in that little device and it's really quick to heat up. It, it's just a lot faster of a process. So I adore it so far, you know, obviously we're in honeymoon stages. It's the Breville Air Fryer Pro. And let me tell you, it is pricey. However, comma, it was on sale for 20 or 30% off. And then I got it through Bed Bath & Beyond. And even though I wasn't supposed to be able to do this because it specifically says Breville, I think is excluded from using that extra 20% off coupon that comes in the flyers and stuff. It's for some reason allowed me to put it on to this purchase. So I got an additional 20% off. Anyways, that's the tea. Stay tuned for lots of me talking about how much I love air frying things because I'm already obsessed with it. I get the hype, it's fantastic. I've got my spaghetti squash, spaghettiified-ish. <laughs> and now I'm gonna add the feta mixture to this. For some reason, I'm not feeling super optimistic about this one. You know what? It's not bad. It's actually quite delightful. I never would have thought to do like spaghetti squash like this for sure. I'm gonna grab some more and then I'm gonna go proceed to watch Succession. I'm on the last couple episodes of the final season. I have a PR event at 10 a.m. It is 9-11. My goodness guys, whenever it's 9-11, it freaks me out because that number pops into my life every now and then. Which doesn't sound on instinct like it'd be a lucky number, but I've I've seen that that number is associated with new chapters, new beginnings. Anyways, so I have this PR event to go to. Can I say which one I'm going to? There's an embargo. Let me just check this. I think I can say that I'm going to a little event for Starbucks to check out their 
holiday selection. I can't show any footage in this vlog of that event though because I'm under strict instructions not to. I'm kind of excited though because I think I'm gonna get coffee out of this thing and it's a quick PR event in the morning too. So it starts at 10, I think by 11.30 I'll be wrapped up. I don't typically go to a lot of PR events or say yes to a lot of PR events because, well, there's two reasons. One, like sometimes it can be quite a time commitment depending on like if it's during the work day, even at night sometimes, like they can be like cocktail parties, but it just take, it takes significant chunks out of my day. But also, I don't know if it's imposter syndrome or if it's just like not my vibe, but I feel like such a influencer at events like these where the potential is always there to feel very, I don't know, like I like it's odd being there and it's like very transparent why we're why I'm there which is obvious like obviously these events are meant to generate publicity for the brand but sometimes I just feel really awkward about the whole thing yeah it's not always my cup of tea but today I am having coffee so I'm, I'm vibing this is the outfit that I'm wearing nothing crazy I need to buy more bodysuits from Abercrombie for the season like long sleeve ones I have a lot of short sleeve stuff but I have very few like this and I love this bodysuit Abercrombie bodysuits, I keep saying it all the time, they're the best because they've got clasps at the bottom and they're returnable, which Ritzia, you cannot return bodysuits. And they just hold up. Like this one is still in great condition. And I wear all the time. It's finally cold enough that I can pair it with a bit of a heavier coat. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the vibe today. This is the new Stedman coat from Aritzia in this beautiful herringbone. I just feel like this is such a a great piece for the fall, early winter. I can easily layer things. I still got lots of room in here. So yeah, there we go. Now I just need to figure out the bag. I've got my cell phone, lipstick. Right now I'm not feeling the nerves. I'm sure I will once I get there, but I think it's also good for me to go to situations like this where I get to possibly meet other creators. I, I can imagine there's like a variety of people that are invited to this. Hopefully I meet some people that are cool. And nonetheless, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get coffee. So this can't go wrong. <laughs> this is, can only be a positive experience. Should I just do the tote? Or should I put on like, uh, you know, I want a proper bag, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, we're going with my classic Matt and that bag. I don't think this bag is out there anymore, which is a shame, because I do think it's such a great crossbody. Should I go booty? I think I'm gonna go booty. I'm acting like I've got all the time in the world, but we really do need to be departing. So I'll touch base with you in a bit. The event ended up being so good. I'm really glad that I went, met some great people, and then I did some errands, and I figured I'd show you the things I got, some things that have come in the mail. Let's do it. First thing that was sent to me was from Notebook Therapy. So kind enough to send me two beautiful stationary items. I've never tried anything from Notebook Therapy before, but I've heard just like obviously amazing things. I love the Instagram account. This journal is from the Moonlight Alchemy collection, and it is so beautiful look at the edges look at that stunning absolutely stunning it has the elastic too but a boom it's dotted i'm gonna save this for either the beginning of the year or doing some sort of personal journal where i write more thoughts rather than lists but this is just so beautiful i also got sent from the same collection some washi tape look how cute this little packaging is we've got some stickers and then oh Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Whoops. I think actually that one is probably my favorite one, but this one's really cool too. I feel like these colors are just so neutral and gorgeous. I, I, oh, wait a second. I just realized I really love this one. It's so beautiful. It's got like the, the shimmery rose gold action going on. Yo, that's beautiful. I'm gonna have links below to both of these, but I, I'm, I'm feeling so lucky to have been sent these. From Coach House Books, I also got sent a copy of what we talk about when we talk about dumplings. If the world's cuisines share one common food, it might be the dumpling, a truly global dish that can be found on every continent and in every culinary tradition from Asia to Central Europe to Latin America. In this unique collection, food writers, journalists, culinary historians, and chefs share histories of their own culture's dumplings. Just a really cool book. And there are two packages here of things that I bought. 
These are NFC stickers, not NFT stickers, NFC stickers. And what you can basically do with them, I saw a TikTok where someone uses this because these are stickers are scannable with your phone to help track habits. So you could put a sticker on your vitamins and then every time you take your vitamins, use your phone just to scan it so that it tracks that habit in my health app. And you do this using these NFC stickers and the shortcuts app on iPhones. I only got 10 of them because I want to experiment, see if I can find a lot of functionalities for them. If so, I will give you more details on it. I'll probably do like a TikTok video um, on it too. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, that's probably where you'd see me talk about it first. It looked really cool. I am pumped. Another Amazon box. This is a book. I finally got a copy, my own copy of Building a Second Brain. I really want to read this and I probably make some content around this concept. I'm still reading Think Grow Rich right now, which is a book that is definitely dated, but I'm trying to push through. I'm only like three chapters and I haven't really committed hardcore, but I need to push through that because at our family investing meeting last week, my cousin's boyfriend was raving about that book. So I'm like, okay. We gotta, gotta push through. But then it is all about this one as my next nonfiction read. It'll be linked down below as well. On my way home, I did go to HomeSense and I bought a piece of Christmas decor. Don't, don't hate me. I know it's October, but this stuff goes fast. Look at him. He's so cute. As far as nutcrackers go, it's neutral. It's not overly ornate which sometimes nutcrackers are and it's just not my vibe at the moment i've never seen one quite like this the little wooden hat that really gets me i also got these warm white lights that are um, on a timer so i don't have to worry about turning them on and off every day i feel like i want to use them on some sort of centerpiece i do on the kitchen island this year i always feel like that's the area of the apartment that doesn't get like its own light fixture usually i have the tree and some garland over here and and this area just feels like it's lacking something and I feel like this could add a festive touch. They also work outside so maybe I'll put them on the balcony. Probably not though. I feel like putting on my balcony is a waste. And I just got this set of bed sheets from Calvin Klein. I've been waiting for them to come in stock in full and it's been a while. I keep looking whenever I'm there and they finally got some. This will officially mean I've switched over my white bed sheets to a taupe uh, palette which is kind of nice because I just feel like my white bed sheets have been really hard to maintain when I don't have like laundry in my unit. So I can't do the sort of treatments I would be able to do on a more regular basis if laundry was in my apartment. But because I have to go to a communal space, it just is a little bit trickier um, to, to do those things. Taupe is where it's at. making homemade pizza for dinner tonight but I actually made my own dough this week and I let it sit for 48 hours before making this pizza because I've heard that if you do that it really lets the flavors develop and it was the best pizza dough I've ever made. So note to self, I have to think about my future self when it comes to dough making because that was that was fire. I'm also kind of getting sad that these candles are gonna have to go because obviously this is where my tree goes and Halloween is this weekend so or next week it's just hitting me that like the apartment though is gonna be in holiday mode soon i always have to do it a little bit earlier than maybe you would like decorating for the holidays because it becomes content and people like to see ideas before they decorate so i already kind of feel behind i've already seen some people post holiday decor videos and i just am sitting there thinking to myself no, we are not there yet. I haven't decided yet what I want to do vlogmas wise. If you watched my, if you've been a follower of my channel, um, at least since last year, what I did was 
in December post four consecutive weeks of weekly vlogs. So I call it vlog mess because I was vlogging pretty much every day in December, but I wasn't posting a vlog every day. I'd post one weekly vlog. So I'm not sure if I wanna do that again or do like a couple vlogs and some other holiday themed videos. Like, I don't know, what, what do you guys wanna see? Did you do like vlogmas last year? I realized I haven't done an update on the books I'm reading or I've read in the fiction category. So I wanna just like kind of Bit out some of the ones I've been reading. First one was King of Wrath by Anna Huang. I know this is the first book in a new series that she has. She had the Twisted series, this is a new one. I liked the Twisted series, some more than others. Felt a little bit, which I've, I've heard some commentary about, a little bit too similar to the fourth book in the Twisted series. Christian and Dante kind of have a lot of similar vibes. I did enjoy it though, <laughs> I had fun, but I, I think my expectations were a little bit high for it. I also read Mile High by Liz Tom Ford. This is the book that I read because I've been in a, ever since Icebreaker, which I think I talked to you guys about, I've been in a hockey romance kind of mood and that's very strange for me because of all the sports romances, actually football and hockey, romances when it comes to books even in real life I'm like mm, not that interested <laughs> but for some reason I'm into it lately and Mile High by Liz Tom Ford just kind of kept me hooked on that one and then the most recent book that I just finished like this morning last night was Heartless by Elsie Silver this is a second book in a series it's a standalone but it's the second book in a series where the first book was about one brother, second book is about another brother, independent, but there's kind of crossover between the two. Like you see the first couple appear in this second book and this one's an age gap nanny romance. Those are kind of the tropes that are happening. Very fun. And I haven't decided what I'm gonna read next in the in the fiction space. I just like to keep it light these days. And since speaking to you, I also finished It Starts With Us, that Colleen Hoover second book to It Ends With Us. And I ended up liking it, but I do feel like it's a book that's just meant for the fans of It Ends With Us. Meaning I felt like it was trying to just give readers what they wanted. Um, I don't think it was like a necessary book, but that being said, like I really love those characters. So it was beautiful to kind of revisit them. Most of these books too are part of Kindle Unlimited, which is a monthly subscription that allows you to read books for free. I think it's like 20 books that you can have on your Kindle at one, at one time. And for me personally, if I read a book on KU that I a door, I end up buying it afterwards anyways. And then it frees up more space for me to have things on my Kindle. I, I read a lot of books. So like a, a K, KU, Kindle Unlimited, Kobo has their version of, of the same thing. They are fantastic services for, for me, at least for my reading taste. There's a lot on there that I, I get to enjoy. I'll have a link to that below, by the way, uh, so that you can check it out if you are like, what are you talking about, Caitlin? You know what's so fascinating too this week that I shared on Instagram stories was this concept, I watched a video, oh gosh, on TikTok, on TikTok, of someone talking about the disappearance of third places, which a third place means like aside from work and home, which are your first and second places, there should be like this other place that you build community, that you meet with like-minded people, that you socialize, and how there's a steady decline in people having third places because of the nature of our work schedules and the nature of um, living in environments that require more driving, they're not as walkable, you know, a whole plethora of reasons why we, a lot of people don't have that third place anymore. And it got me even thinking, I'm like, oh, like my first and second place are so intertwined and like days like today where I get to get out of the office, out of the office, which is aka my house, uh, to do work is really exciting for me because it's very, it's different and it gets me, like I, like I even mentioned, just like seeing other people in my industry or doing creative things. So that's really good to, to kind of expose myself to. But I'm like, oh, what is my other third place? And I think there are a lot of places that I love going, like I love making visits to bookstores and I love going to coffee shops and there are certain like grocery stores in the city that I love checking out and like there are regular places that I hit up. Like what would be my third, like what would I consider my third place and is there an opportunity for more third place energy? Especially when I'm making my 2023 goals, I wanna, I wanna think about that 
a little bit more like where is there an opportunity to sprinkle in something a little different I'm pondering it i'd love to know though if you have a third place in the comment section down below i'll have the link also in the description box to the video that i'm referencing if you missed it on my stories but if you did miss out my story let me tell you you should go check me out on instagram because why not? Why wouldn't you want to check me out on Instagram? Subtle plug, subtle plug. I'm going to end today's video by trying out a new thing that we're going to experiment with. We'll see if it becomes a consistent thing on the channel, but I thought it'd be fun to end the videos with like a comment of the week. I'm not sure if it'll always be me chit-chatting about the comment. It might sometimes me just pl be plopping it on the screen and kind of letting it speak for itself. But for this one, I went back to my 7 a.m. morning routine video that went up last week. I love this comment from Elena Harris. It says, biggest thing that's helped me with my morning routine is giving myself allowance to be flexible. I used to try to always follow the same routine and keep to a certain time frame, but now I have a general list of routine items I try to do but allow myself to adjust and cut based on my energy, mood, and schedule for the day. Huge improvement. I adore this concept because I think it just brings a lot of self-awareness to your routine because it's true. Some days we have different needs, some days we have different expectations, and it's nice when you give yourself the flexibility to actually listen to what you actually need at that moment rather than just going through the motions of what you think you should do. If you've got any more thoughts, then let me know in the comments. I am also working on that productivity planner video. Don't you worry, there will be an update there. And I will see you all very soon. Ta-ta everyone, toodles. I must go read now and hydrate. Oh my goodness, my body is just asking for a big tall glass of water. <laughs>